Hello, everybody. Andrea here with Dental L. So if you are able to have your own dental hygiene practice, it does depend on your location. If you're not sure, please check with your dental hygiene association if you are able to have one. Some areas can't and some areas cannot. I am personally in Ontario. So in Ontario, we do need to become a self-initiated dental hygienist. We can take a course for that, several other things, but then we can have our own dental hygiene practice. But what I want to talk to you guys in this video today is I want to talk to you guys about what if you're on the fence of, well, should I have my own dental hygiene practice or should I just continue working for a dental office? So I'm going to give you some key points here that you really need to think about, like both are good and not so good, but I'm going to give you guys different sides of the coin to really help you guys decide if having your own mobile dental hygiene business is best for you. So I'm going to talk about dental hygiene practices in general, but just so you know, I am specific to a mobile dental hygiene practice. So I see patients in their own home. I travel to them. I bring in all of my equipment into their own home, but I also see patients in one room in my home. So I do a little bit of both. I do not work in a full practice. I do not have a separate business like brick type location. Okay. So it's mobile and in my own home. Okay. But what I'm going to talk to you guys about is going to be the same thing regardless. It doesn't matter if you are thinking about having your own standalone business or not. I'm talking to you guys about what it's like having your own dental hygiene practice versus working for a dentist or working for somebody else. So the first question people always ask me is, do you make enough money? Are you going to be in the red? Okay, so I've had my own dental hygiene practice since late 2018. And yes, you make much better money than if you worked for a dental office. Look at it this way. When I worked at a dental office, when I left, I was making $45 per hour. And I was working like Monday to Friday, some Saturdays actually as well, from eight till six, hardly getting a lunch. Um, seeing a lot of patients every day, I was exhausted um, and making $45 per hour. That's pretty good money though, right? Like $45 per hour is pretty good. Now in my own practice, I set my own schedule. What my day looks like is I work typically 10 a.m. till two. I don't start earlier than 10 a.m. You guys, I'm not a morning person, but guess what? I can do that 10 a.m. till about two. How many hours is that? That's not a full day. I'm home by 2.30 typically. Again, I travel, right? So some of that does involve travel time, but 10 a.m. till 2 p.m. And I can make anywhere, depending on what type of patient I'm seeing, whether it's a new patient exam, a child, adult, a recare, if it's teeth whitening, let's just say on average, I make about $200 a person. That's a lot better than $45 a person, right? $200 a person versus $45 a person. Well, geez, which one am I going to pick, right? Um, again, it, it does depend on the types of patients I'm seeing. So yes, you make better money. But another kind of side note to that as well is, well, you have to find your own patients. When you're working in a dental office, they basically come to you because the business has been established, it's been set up. So you do need to advertise, you need to market, you need to find your own patients. You will not be making money unless you find your own patients. Patients aren't going to magically come to you, especially a mobile dental hygienist. Nobody's heard of it. It's very, very rare. You might have one or two in your area, if that. In my area, I'm the only one. There's a mobile hygienist about two hours away. And then I know of a couple more, like two hours away the other way, closer to Toronto. But in my area, I'm the only one. That's a great thing because I have all of these patients. But that also means I get a lot of, the, what is a mobile dental hygienist? Can you explain it to me before I book with you? It sounds kind of weird. You know, you never know, right? So you have to find your own patients. If you don't, you're not going to make that money. If you need help, by the way, I'm going to leave the link down below. I do have a course called Mobile RDH Academy. The course has been in the workings since 2019, where I teach you guys step-by-step -step how to have your own mobile dental hygiene business and or one in your own home. So it kind of works together. I go step-by-step, -step, I teach you like this. So I talk to you guys in video step-by-step -step, where I talk to you guys about how to take out a loan if you need one. I, I talk about business credit cards. I talk about business bank accounts, but then I go into to talk about what a typical day is like, 
what you're going to need to buy, what you might want to save your money on, what you should buy right away, how much money you should expect to spend the first year. Don't worry, you guys, I talk about all of that. But then let's move on here. So a lot of dental hygienists, that's another thing that they say to me is, well, you know, am I going to have a lot of expenses? When I work for a dentist, when I work for, for somebody else, I don't have expenses. I work during the day, I come home, I don't have to think about work, I don't have, there's no expenses. If I need something, the dentist typically buys it for me. Um, I don't have expenses. So is that a lot of money? Well, yes, you're going to have expenses. Of course you will. With any business, you're going to have expenses. But keep in mind, more of your expenses are going to be the first year because you're going to need to buy things that you don't have yet. Um, the first year I had to buy a portable chair because I'm going portable to patients' homes. I had to buy a stool for me to sit in. I had to buy some end tables because sometimes patients don't have end tables. So there's actual portable tables that like fold over that I can put in my car, bring with me. I wanted to buy some new instruments. So I had to do that. Bibs, masks, polishing cups, a polisher, um, any type of materials. So there's more you have to buy the first year. I bought a sterilizer. I bought a new laptop because I didn't have one and I kind of need to travel with that portably, but I needed to get a good one that was good enough for my dental hygiene software. So I could submit things electronically to patients insurance. You get the idea, right? So there's a lot of expenses the first year, but if you have a good accountant, they can help you with all of that because business expenses are tax deductible. I mean, you get like a tax credit for them. You write them off. So just as an example, in 2021, I had $30,000 of expenses. That's not a lot though, you guys, if you think about it. I do not work nine to five every day. If I did think about it, working nine to five every day, $200 a person, how much money are you going to make? You're going to do amazing. $30,000 in expenses is nothing. And you get a tax credit for that. You have to remember that. So again, you guys, do you want to work for a dental office where you don't have to worry about any of that? Maybe you do. Maybe that's more comforting to you. Or do you want your own business where you run the show, but you have to deal with all of that? You know, accountants, you have to be organized. If you're a mobile dental hygienist, you have to keep track of transportation. I could go on here. So those are the main things, though, that you want to think about. I talk about this more inside the Mobile RDH Academy as well. Definitely check it out if you're thinking about having your own dental hygiene practice. And with all the points that I just mentioned, if you're thinking... I want to go for it. Everything that Andrea just said, oh my goodness, I don't want to work for him anymore, him or her. I want to have my own business. This sounds incredible. Or if these points that I mentioned scare you and you're kind of like, oh my God, I'm going to have $30,000 of expenses. I'm going to have to take out a loan the first year. What if I can't find patients? What am I, you know, if those scare you, maybe think about it a little bit more, but also keep in mind, I can help you. I can be your support system. Inside my course, the Mobile RDH Academy, I teach you guys all of this. I teach you guys how to be organized, how to manage expenses. I even teach you guys how to get patients. I teach you guys how I do it. I have at least 20 new patients a month, at least. I've checked at least 20 new patients a month. Dental offices are lucky to have 10 new patients a month. And how many patients do dental offices have? I'm one person, I'm a dental hygiene practice. If I can have 20 new patients a month, I can absolutely help you have a successful business. So this is where I come in, I can help you. So inside the Mobile RDH Academy, I give everything to you. If you feel like you do need more help or more kind of one-on-one, -on -one, I do offer private business coaching as well, specific to dental hygienists starting their own practice. Either if you want your own dental hygiene practice or a teeth whitening practice as well. Kind of anything dental hygiene related, I can help you guys with, okay? So let me know if any questions, please click like to this video if you haven't yet. That does help me in my channel. I really appreciate it. I'm going to give you guys up the link below to the Mobile RDH Academy. Check it out and comment if you guys have any questions, okay? Thank you guys very much. I'll talk to you soon and happy Monday.